The truth is, if it was more good black men out there, it would be extremely difficult for a black woman to run into a bad one. I honestly feel like black men are struggling. Black men do not know who they are, what they want, nor do they know how to become the type of men that they want to be. And we're talking about the average black men, not the exceptional ones who have figured it out. A lot of people know of the tragic story of me and my son's father, and a lot of men believe that my perspectives of men has solely to do with him. But you have to understand, fellas, I dated guys before him. Yeah, he was the biggest problem and he did the worst that he could do to me, but there were men before him. Right, so I think you make a lot of valid points. I will say that. So I will say with my background as being a pastor and now a military chaplain, you say more good black men. I don't think more good black men will solve the problem. I think how we choose our mate or what our value or moral systems are will solve the problem. And hopefully that makes sense. The next thing you said that black men don't know who they are or what they want. I would say it is very difficult for black men to know who they are when they are raised predominantly or in a majority sense in a single in a household with a single mother. Right. And so there is no man in the household to uh, counsel, to coach and to mentor. Right. So our heritage or black men have had a long history from our ancestors of being brought up in a community of men, having a rite of passage. And now men are not giving young men a rite of passage. The streets are, TV is, music is, and is not being governed by another group of men who have high standards, who have values, who have morals, and who can keep each other in check, right? So if you have a bunch of children checking each other with no oversight of the adult, then that becomes problematic. They don't know how to be the man who they want to be. Sis, I think a lot of men have a vision of who they want to be. It's just there is no blueprint on how to get there. And again, I say that men need counselors, coaches and mentors. And oftentimes we don't seek them out or no one extends their hand. I don't a boy doesn't know he needs help until I tell him that he needs help. That's just typically how it works for a man. Right. You don't know that you need an oil change until the check engine light comes on. But I think we're getting better. But there the thing about about the truth is that it's not just two sides to the coin. There's three. And a lot of times we're not looking at the third side. So, again, I think you make some valid points. I just think we, we got to go about a different way of getting there. And how do we solve the problem? Well, we need to get more men into the talk. My problem was infidelity. See, even when I was in a relationship, it was always about finding sex with, with another female. That, that was my whole agenda. But it wasn't until I hit rock bottom and I, and I found that I was the problem. So I had to change. And when I changed, that was when my outlook on women changed and the type of woman that I want and deserve changed. That's when I found the love of my life. So you're right. We have to change first. Good morning, queens, kings, allies, and others. So I understand what you said about there not being a lot of good black men out there, uh, minus the exceptions, of course. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I understand your perspective. I feel as though your perspective is built off of your own interactions with black men in your life. So when you say... If there are more good black men out there, it'd be harder for black women to find bad ones. I feel as though the good black men out there are out there living their lives. And the ones that you do meet, you just may not. They might not be your type. Not saying that you have a type for bad guys, but 
you have to choose, you have to make a choice to find the men that you want or the men that you feel as though would value you the way that you deserve to be valued, unlike the men in your past have. And I feel like when you find that, you'll find love with a black man. I'm sorry. I totally disagree. All right. The way I see it is there's plenty of good men out there, black, white, red, green, whatever. And this is respectfully. I believe that the most part is that us good men, all right, and I'm putting myself in there, right, are usually put into the friend zone. All right, we become your buddy. We the homeboy that you talk about, you talk to us about with the other idiots that you date, right? Then the the assholes, oh, they get chance after chance after chance. The good dude been trying to holler at you since the third grade? Oh, no, he just your buddy. That's your friend. You're like a brother to me. Let's stop it, all right? How about give some of your buddies, some of your friends... Right? How about giving them a shot? And then you might see you ran into a lot more good black men. First off, blessing sister. Um, uh, For one, I just want to say that uh, perception is key. In that what you consider a good black man is not considered a good black man to the next woman. To one, a good black man would be a man that can provide, they can take her on vacations and trips. To another, a good black man would be somebody that's faithful and protects her and uh, uh, helps her, uh, uh, I guess, better herself. To say that if there were more good black men out there, you would run into them. Just don't make no sense to me. Um, I think that when you're speaking, you're eliminating, uh, 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 you're acting as if you don't have a choice in these things. Then I, you know, I do recall you saying, well, I dated men before him. Once again, these are your choices. So uh, the stigma uh, really belongs to you, not black men. These are the men that you chose. These are the men that you keep running into. I mean, like it or not, you have a type. Don't we all? I think it's flaws in both uh, genders. Honestly. But to say that we have not found ourselves. um, I could say the same thing about you guys. Because if you guys had found yourselves, then uh, it wouldn't be no need for the 25 pounds of uh, uh, L'Oreal and the eyeliner and uh, uh, the other people here. I said it. I don't give a fuck. That's the truth. Um, so once again, uh, I feel like uh, the things that you are saying are true, uh, 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 but only uh, in a matter of perception. This is how you perceive it. Because you do not uh, 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 and have not dated all men. Neither will you. A lot of y'all won't even date men that's under 6'1". So if every man you meeting ain't shit, supposedly. You locked yourself in to ain't shit niggas. And here we go again with the dumb shit. Um, let me explain something. You are right. There are a lot of fucked up black men. There are, but those are the ones, the ones that are fucked up and became assholes. Those are the ones that tried to be nice. They tried to love. They tried to do the things that, you know, they thought women would love, the things that they thought women would like, but it didn't turn out right for them. And they got fucked over too many times. So they turned into a demon on demon time. And then you just so happen to be the next motherfucker they fucked with. And then the next female after them, they fucked her over too. And they just kept doing it. They kept doing it because they were tired of getting hurt. Because nowadays, women look at money and appearance as the value of what they think a husband should be. You want them six foot one, 200 some pounds. You need to be able to carry you, carry all the baggage that you come with. And on top of that... He needs to make over $300,000, but that's not how this works. So y'all are choosing the wrong shit. Y'all are choosing physical over emotional and end up 
mentally fucked up. That's the problem. That's where it comes in. There is a lot, a lot of black men who are good guys. Y'all got them motherfuckers in the friend zone. Y'all got them where ain't nobody gonna see them niggas. They are hidden away. And you know what ends up happening? That man in the friend zone ends up finding someone outside of his race that's gonna appreciate him. And then y'all look stupid because you're gonna be mad because that friend's probably gonna cut you off because the feelings he had for you are gonna fuck up his new relationship. The one that actually makes him happy, the one that actually, you know, gives him hope for the future. You're gonna be mad because he cut you off and then you're gonna realize he was a good guy. Damn, I let a good guy go. That's how y'all look. Y'all look stupid like that, just dumb. Just why? I don't understand. When you could have just looked at your friend's own and figured out which of these motherfuckers is a good fit because you know what happens all the ones that are good get put in the friend zone all the ones that ain't shit you know the fellas the liars the cheaters the abusers they all end up with the girl and then y'all be looking dumb i don't understand get your shit together get your shit together we mounted black man and i didn't see the value in black women and i didn't see the value in building an empire with a black woman i would never date another black woman again this video would be all the validation I would need to stay far, far away from black women. But seeing that I'm a strong black man, educated, entrepreneur, middle class man that values and seeks a black woman. I won't allow this woman's negative outlook on black men to skew my views. But what I will say is black women like her will hold every other black man in society accountable for the negative things and negative trauma that she's been through in her life. But she'll look at a man that's successful, a black man at that, and say, that's an individual. That's a man you see value in. So the success is what she values, not the black man. It's amazing the lengths that women will go through to avoid accountability. Like instead of saying, Well, I picked the wrong men, it's all it's always, oh, it's the men's fault. All the men are bad. Therefore I have no accountability and no say so in my decisions whatsoever. Like I can't stand this shit so much. Because if men did this, we we'll be seen as goofy and rightfully so, man. Look, at some point you have to, to take accountability for your actions, bro. Not all men are bad. I know that cliche to say by this point, but now there are good men out there. You just haven't found them because you have chose poorly. And fine, we all been there. But don't. But, but, but let's not say all men are bad just because you don't want to take accountability for your poor decisions. Like, stop this. Like, please, ladies, stop doing this. All right, stop doing this. Hello, this is Christian, and I think we just have an unrealistic expectation of our dating climate. We want to be able to say the reason why I can't make good decisions about my life is because I don't have the options necessary to make good decisions about my life. When you choose under your own accord to go out into this dating world, you have to be able to understand that one, there will be obstacles. And two, this is this is going to be hard work. I've used my presence here on TikTok to force people to have some of the more difficult discussions. And what I've learned over the past year is everything that you're saying about black men, black men are saying the same thing about black women. More importantly, Every other race is saying the exact same thing about the opposite gender. The road to companionship, the road to the relationship that people want is simply difficult. No one is going to pull back a curtain, show you 100 good men or women, and then you just get the convenience of just making a choice about which one you want. I agree with your call to action. To dig down deep underneath the lowest of the low when it comes to the black men in our community and lift everyone up so that the baseline standard of a man worthy of companionship is higher. But even then, you will still need to be able to exercise self-awareness, patience, and attentiveness in order to make a good decision about your partner. And we need to pay more attention to what's going on around us. Because everybody ain't sad. Everybody ain't lonely. There's a lot of people out here who have done the work and they have gotten themselves into the relationships and the companionships that they've wanted. I believe it's because they controlled what they could control and used their wisdom and experiences to make good decisions about their life, which is always my number one advice.
I posted a video where I said that if there were more good black men, it would be difficult for a black woman to run into a bad one. Inside of it, I spoke about how men always think I had one experience with a guy and that one guy is the reason why I'm saying such a thing, but they don't understand. I'm not speaking for just myself. I'm speaking for a number of women. And out of all of the men who made video responses, only one took accountability. Only one spoke about how black men kill one another. All of the betas who made response videos, they all blame me. Oh, you must be the common denominator, as if I was speaking just about myself. When I spoke about a lot of women who are experiencing bad things with black men. I notice as a black woman, when I talk about bad experiences with black men, it's always blamed on us why we experience those things, as if we should have just chose better. To betas, it's always our fault, never theirs for why they cheated, why they lied, why they manipulated, why they led us into poverty, why any of the things. It's always a woman's fault. The common denominator is me when I keep running into bad black men, correct? It's my fault. So when you are dating outside of your race, how come when you try to explain why you're dating outside of your race, how come it's never, oh, it's just me. I just like non-black women. Black men don't even take the accountability for that. They still blame that on black women. When is it gonna be you? When are you the common denominator to all of your poor choices in black women? I stand 10 toes in what I said. If there were more good black men, it would be difficult for a woman of any color to run into a bad one. Unfortunately, a lot of us are running into bad ones, even non-black women.